Reconciling your bank accounts is an essential practice for running a business, as it helps you validate data entry, monitor cash flow, and more. In this video, I want to show you how to perform bank reconciliation in SFM in just a few steps. To perform a bank reconciliation in SFM, we highly recommend for you to have the actual bank statement in your hand, just like this one. It can be easy to skip entries or to tag the wrong ones without it. To minimize mistakes and to avoid a situation where the difference does not balance to zero, we are going to simultaneously mark off entries on the statement and in your SFM system. If you have your bank statement in hand, let's get started. To begin, click on the Bank Reconciliation button in the menu. We can then choose the bank account which we want to reconcile. Hit the Tab key on your keyboard to move to the next field, where we can choose the date of the bank statement. Hit the Tab key once more, and then enter the amount that is listed on the bank statement. Note that if you have an overdrawn balance in hand, you can enter a negative amount here. Just add a minus sign before the amount. Finally, hit Tab again, or Enter, and SFM will pull up all entries in your system that have yet to be reconciled for the chosen bank account. Before we begin tagging entries, it is helpful to know that if you start tagging and then exit out of the system before finishing, SFM will hold your place and you can continue where you left off the next time you log in. To start, we can cross-examine values written on the bank statement with data in your SFM system to ensure that we are starting on the right foot in this process. First, let's verify that the previous balance on your bank statement matches the statement running balance in SFM. When we are finished reconciling this bank statement, we should see that the closing balance on the statement matches the statement running balance in SFM. Now we are ready to tag entries for reconciliation. Before this process, we highly recommend for you to process this bank reconciliation in the same order as the entries on your bank statement. To help us with this, we can order our unreconciled entries by date, external reference, analysis, or other fields by clicking on the appropriate column headers. The reason for this is to help us better tally the running balance in our system. In the end, we should see that our running balance matches our statement. We can reduce reconciliation issues through this practice. Alright, let's get going. Take note of the first entry on your bank statement. Then, using the arrow keys on your keyboard, scroll down to that same entry in SFM. When you've arrived to the entry, tap the space bar to tag it. After each and every tagging, check that the running balance in SFM matches the balance values on your bank statement. Remember that you can review the details of the entry by first selecting it and then typing Control D on your keyboard. This is helpful to ensure that the entries match between SFM and the statement. Once we have done that, cross off the entry in your bank statement and move on to the next entry. Do this until all entries from the bank statement are tagged in SFM. While tagging, you may encounter a transaction on your bank statement that is not posted as an entry in your SFM system. If this happens, you can post this missing transaction from the bank reconciliation window. Once we save and post the entry, it is tagged automatically. After checking that the running balances match, we can continue. In the end, you should find that the difference is at zero. Again, we should see that the closing balance is the same as the statement running balance. Now, we can print a reconciliation statement. To do this, click Print, and then Reconciliation Statement. Within the statement, we can see once more that the balances match. Finally, 
we can now archive the statements. SFM will archive the statements and remove the tag entries. Your archived bank statements are found in Archive, Nominal, Bank Reconciliation. So this has been the bank reconciliation process in SFM. We hope that this video tutorial was helpful for you. Remember, you can always check out our FAQs and help articles if you need further assistance with this or other tasks in your Shireburn Financial Manager. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in another video.